chains can form isomers. An isomer has the same molecular formula, which means it's got the same number of carbon and hydrogen atoms, but a different structural formula, meaning that the atoms are arranged different. The example we can see at the bottom is we have a straight chained alkane, which is known as butane. And then what we've done is we've changed the arrangement of the atoms to form an isomer of butane, which we'll learn how to name in this video. The prefix is the first part of the name, which tells us how many carbon atoms are present. When we're naming branches, the same rule applies that we can use page nine of our data booklet to help us name the branches. Remember, if the prefix is meth, we have one carbon atom. The name of the branch would be known as methyl and be written down as CH3. Eth would have two carbons in the branch, which would be known as an ethyl branch and could be written as the shortened structural formula as C2H5. And if we have prop, that's three carbons. The name of the branch would be known as propyl and the shortened structural formula would be C3H7. So let's have a go at naming this branch chained alkane. The first thing that we have to do is find the longest carbon chain and we want to name this. I can see that the longest carbon chain I have is three carbons in a consecutive row. So if I was to use page nine, that name of that alkane, because it's got carbon to carbon single bonds, would be known as propane. I then need to put a box around the branch which is not found in the longest chain and I'm going to number the top line of the longest carbon chain and the bottom in the reverse order. I need to identify the number in which the branch is the lowest. I can see if it could be on position two on both sides of that carbon. So it doesn't matter which row I use, which means the name of this is going to be 2-methylpropane. Example two, we need to find the longest carbon chain which we can see is four carbons long. So the name of that alkane would be butane. We want to put a box around the branch which is not found in the longest carbon chain. And we want to number the top carbons and the bottom carbons in the reverse order. We need to look at the potential positions that that branch could be put on. It could be on position three or position two. What's the lowest number? It's position two. We can see that the branch has only got one carbon so it would be known as a methyl branch. So the name of this alkane is 2-methylbutane. This one is a little bit trickier. We need to find the longest carbon chain, which is four carbons. So the name of that alkane would be butane. We then need to put boxes around the branches, which are not found in the longest chain. And this time we have two different branches. We number the top carbons and the bottom carbons in the opposite direction. We identify the positions of the branches. The positions could be three or two. What's the lowest position? Is position two. So we're going to use the bottom row numbers, which means that both branches can be classed as being on position two. We need to state the position of every single branch. So we've got two comma two. We need to say that we have two branches. So we use the prefix die and they only are one carbon in length, so they'll be known as a methyl branch. So the name of this is 2,2-dimethylbutane. So firstly, we have to find the longest carbon chain. And in this example, we have four carbons. So the name of the alkane would be butane. We then put boxes around the branches. We have got three branches this time. We then number the top carbons and the bottom carbons in the opposite direction. What we have to do is we have to state the position which the branch can be lowest and the lowest position it can be is two or three. What we can see, however, is that if we use the bottom line, branches on either side of that carbon could be on position two. So that means that we need to state every position of every branch. So the name of this would be two comma two comma three try methyl butane so let's do a hard example first thing we have to do is find the longest carbon chain now this time it is five carbons long and what we have to do is put a box around that 
and if we had five carbons in our longest chain length, that would mean that the name of the alkane would be pentane. We then put boxes around the branches, which are not found in the longest chain, and we number the carbons on the top line from one to five, and then backwards on the bottom line. We need to identify the number which the branch is going to be the lowest. We can see that the positions that we have are two, three, or four. Two is the lowest number, so we're going to be using the bottom line. And we need to state the position of all of the branches. So that means that the name of this alkane would be 2, 2, 3 trimethyl pentane. Now, what we need to remember is that branches cannot be on an end carbon. They can only be found on a middle carbon. Be careful with tricky past paper questions. So if you want to pause the video, you can have a go at naming and drawing the full structural formula for the examples given. And when you're ready, press resume and the answers will pop up in the screen. Past paper questions from the National 5 2017 written 9b. The structural formula for two alkanes is shown. We're given 2-methylpentane and 2,3-dimethylbutane. The term used to describe a pair of alkanes such as 2-methylpentane and 2,3-dimethylbutane is known as what? Well, what we can see is it has the same molecular formula. They both have six carbons and 14 hydrogens, which means it's got the same molecular formula, but a different structural formula. So the term we use to describe that is an isomer. This past paper question is from the National 5 2018 Multiple Choice 11. Identify which of the following is an isomer of, and they're given as a full structural formula of a branch chained alkane. Now remember, an isomer has the same molecular formula but a different structural formula. So first we want to write down the molecular formula for the molecule that we've been given, which is C16H14, and we want to do the rest for A, B, C and D. A has the molecular formula C6H12, so it would not be an isomer. B has the molecular formula C6H14, so it could be that. C has the molecular formula C6H14, so it could be that. But D has the molecular formula C5H12, so that cannot be the correct answer. We then want to look at the different structural formula. So this is looking at the position of the branch. On the molecule we're given, uh, we have the position of the branch on carbon number 2. If I look at B, that would also be on position 2, if we were to use the numbers of the carbons backwards. Whereas C has it on position 3 which means the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer C. This past paper question is from the National 5 2018 written 4B. The full structural formula of isobutane is given. Write the systematic name for isobutane. So the first thing that we have to do is identify the longest carbon chain. We can see that that has three carbons so the name and it's saturated so the name of this would be known as propane. We then number the top line and the bottom line of the carbons and we put a box around the branch which is not found in the longest carbon chain. We can see the lowest number that that branch can be found on is position 2. So this is known as 2-methylpropane. This past paper question is from the National 5 2015 Multiple Choice 12. The name of the above compound is... Firstly, we have to find the longest carbon chain which we can see has five carbons in it. So that would be known as pentane, which means multiple choice answer A and B cannot be correct because they have propane, which would tell us that the longest chain only had three carbons. We then need to number the top carbons and the bottom carbons. And we put boxes around the methyl branches. We want the branches to be on the lowest positions. The options for the positions are 3, 4, or 2 and 3. The lowest numbers are 2 and 3. 
So the above compound is known as 2,3-dimethylpentane. This past paper question is from the National 5 2018 Multiple Choice 10. The shortened structural formula for a compound is given. Which of the following is another way of representing this structure? So what we want to do is we can see that the answers are given as a full structural formula showing all of the bonds. So we need to change that shortened structural formula into the full structural formula. So we draw out a CH3, a CH2, a CH, and the CH3, which is found in a bracket, is classed as a branch. CH, CH3, CH2, CH2 and CH3. Once we've drawn out this fully, we can see that the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer D.